G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Fisherman's Office. And in this video, we're gonna go through all of my Murray Cod lures, um, through from subsurface, swim baits, and surface lures. Let's get into it. Right, so uh, moving through the subsurface lures, first lures that I started to buy when I came into Murray Cod fishing were spinner baits. And I would probably suggest anyone beginning to do any of that sort of fishing would be um, to start with spinner baits also. They're pretty diverse. They do a lot of good things, um, as well as hard bodies as well. So I'll go through the spinner baits first. Um, first ones I've got to go through are your Bassman DTs. So these ones here, you can buy any brand really, it doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. Um, but yeah, Gangster and Bassman are, seem to be the ones more accessible to myself, so I end up with both of those brands most of the time. First kite I ever caught was on a Gangster Lures spinnerbait, so there you go, thanks to Gangster Lures for that one. This one here is black and orange, it's my newest one. Um, you know, uh, I want to put some trailers on here. Uh, I'm looking for a bright orange tea tail. Since being a bit Difficult to try and find that color actually, but uh, yeah, if anyone knows about that uh, or knows where I can get one, let me know in the comments if you will. I have another one here, which is the black and purple. I'll probably just put a black trailer on this one. Um, I haven't got around putting trailers on yet. Colorado blades fitted to these standardly. Uh, they were really good and uh, yeah, they work on the drop as well, which is great. So you can drop them down uh, the timber or around the rock and um, yeah, they just flutter down sink in front of the uh in front of the mouth that wants to eat it and that is all so yeah um plenty of fish get caught on them would recommend them in the tackle box for anyone fishing for native australians so another one is this is a one ounce one so you probably need a heavier rod set up for this particular size of spinnerbait uh this is a one ounce gangster lures spinnerbait nice big colorado blade on there massive thing um, will move a lot of water, create a lot of noise. Uh, this one spins obviously pretty good. Um, looks really good in the water as well. Nice big double skirt profile, really awesome. This is a nine inch Z-Man motor oil grub, which is really cool actually. I didn't know they used motor oil, um, or any Z-Man, sorry, um, branded plastics for trailers, but there you go. Um, really good quality stuff, of course. Here's another one of the same, uh, only this one has the Z-Man hard leg, hard leg frog on it. So yeah, pretty awesome. Um, both look amazing in the water, um, do their job well. I'm sure these will catch plenty of fish. Um, yeah, there's another view of that one from down there. Another Bassman uh, lure, this one is a chatterbait. This is the Bassman Mumbler. This has a big curly tail grub on it as well. Big black one, big stinger hook. Not as much skirt on these ones, but I don't think it matters too much as uh, so they've got the massive black uh, grub as a, tra as a trailer anyway, so plenty of plenty of shape to that anyway. Um, these work a little bit differently. Obviously, a spinner will rotate around on its, uh, on its swiveling end. This one sort of chatters, as you would say, and sort of vibrates like this through the water on your retrieve. So, yeah, really cool feel on the end of the rod tip when you're, when you're retrieving those. Uh, I really like them. So, yeah, definitely, definitely... Um, looking forward to throwing that around and, and see if I can get something big to jump on. Moving across on the hard body lures, we have the Humble Stump Jumper. It is said that you are not a cod fisher until you buy one of these lures. So I've obviously done the dash and gone and grabbed one and um, I'm very happy that I did. I haven't yet caught a fish on this. I've had some taps and things like that, um, some interest from it. I'm sure I'll catch one. This is a proven lure. Uh, I've been around for I don't know, 20 odd years or something like that. I've been around for ages. Aggressive wobbly action. This bib helps you can get over snags, hence why they call the stump jumper. Snag resistant, catch a fish, fantastic. By far my favorite lure to cast at the moment, subsurface are these Storm Arashis. I'm really impressed with them. They have a similar kind of aggressive wobbling action and most native fish um, tend to, or most native style lures tend to, you know, have for these crankbaits. Um, circuit board type bib and uh, it, which cuts through the water really, really well. Dives quick. Um, again, loud rattle on both of these. This is the Deep 18, this is the Deep 25. Um, yeah, so this would be a good yellow belly size as well, actually, so yeah, really cool. Happy to have those in the tackle box. This lure here accounts for more cod core in my entire tenure fishing for them uh, of any other lure. So, you know, if that doesn't prove that these work, don't know what else does. Have a crack at those. Good value for money, those two, uh, those storms as well. About $18 a pop. Um, the 
other ones that are good value are these Kano Carnage Bush Bandits. This is a medium diver. This is a deep. So obviously you've got a little bit of difference in you know bib size there. Uh, I haven't upgraded the hooks on this one. This is sort of my darker, uh, dirty water sort of profile. I like a dark profile, um, a dark color for that for silhouette. These are the standard hooks, and then I've got the ST66 um, owners on this one with new rings as well. Uh, much more, much more strength in these in these hooks. Well. Uh, withstand a bit more punishment from fish that are bigger uh, that can bend your hooks out. So uh, I would recommend upgrading hooks on these lures as well as as well as the storm. Okay, so that's that. Uh, this one here, probably another good yellow belly size. This is actually gifted to me from a young fella, the side of a riverbank. Uh, I went camping. He was camping with his uncle, uh, not close, not too far away from me. Um, and you know we were talking about fishing and all that sort of stuff. This actually works really good. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this lure. That's why it's staying in the tackle box. Um, Tyler was his name. Thank you very much for giving me this lure, Tyler. Um, and, yeah, I look forward to hopefully catching a fish on it. So, again, thanks, mate. Um, awesome. Moving into swim baits. This one here, Jackal Chubitaro. This one here has uh, got the upgraded hooks and rings as well, as I've said before. This has a great swimming action, um, really, really natural looking in the water in terms of the way it looks when it's being retrieved. Um, slowly sinking, so it's a slow bait. Um, you want to do that in sort of cooler months or, um, uh, you know, just when they're being a bit, maybe a bit fussy or something like that. This is a good size to work in rivers, I would think. Um, nothing too massive. Um, Big Cod's still going to have a go at that for sure if he's hungry. And, uh, yeah, awesome. These come in a range of colours. This is Coped and Magic. Um, there is other, plenty of other colours as well on the market on, in these. Absolutely awesome. So check them out. Pretty cool. This one here, uh, this is another Jackal one. This is a Jackal Dunkel 7. And this has actually a, an interchangeable hook position point. So you've got a little anchor point up here and another uh, anchor point here. Um, so that you know it sits on a chain like this so obviously when you hook up to a fish this will sort of swing out of the way and obviously prevent damage and stuff like that which is a good thing also uh, but the other purpose behind it is to make it interchangeable so if you've got different bottom structures you're trying to avoid or something like that you can change up the hook so they don't snag up on wood and things like that so you can put them up the top here so you just change the ring from this bottom toe point here to the front toe point and then the hook will you know rotate and sit up this way sort of thing hard to see from here but yeah that is the dunkel seven this swims awesome i've swum it uh, in yielding and stuff like that um uh, really cool nice nice uh large tea tail gets a bit of movement of water in there as well and uh and it's also got a bit of roll like this when it when it's being retrieved um sort of got that rainbow trout sort of stripe uh you know some some lines and stuff like here it's not the most natural looking thing but it looks like it could be just about anything that swims uh in in one of those lakes so yeah um it's sort of a pick your poison sort of thing pretty awesome love the dunkle seven that's that one this is one I'm still yet to throw as well. This is the Savage Gear 3D Trout, uh, which is a 3D printed version of a trout, basically. So it's the, probably the closest representative profile-wise and detail-wise to a, to a brown trout. So you can see that uh, looks pretty accurate. Um, big paddle tail. It's got a little bit of a rattle in there. Not sure you can hear it. That's got um, like a glass bead in the tail here with some ball bearings, which makes that noise. Um, pretty cool. Nice. Not a bad gape in the hook from, from the top of the plastic here. So that's, you know, not bad. And also you've got the, you know, the standard uh, treble in there in the bottom as well. So pretty awesome. Look forward to throwing that. Zeric Live uh, swim bait. Pretty awesome as well. Really like this thing. It's got um, a good swimming action, of course. Um, it's got like a fabric, a fabric insert inside here. Uh, which enables them to really section a lot of different small sections of the thing so it moves absolutely awesome like it's that much movement in a bait it's just cool um a lot of the guys use these up north for barra and stuff like that as well so um really cool it's just sort of like a red fin color really awesome this is a zeric affinity moving on to another hard body um swim bait uh sort of like that soft plastic rubber sort of tail um i'm not sure if these have been upgraded, these hooks. It may, have, may or may have not have come with these. This is actually a gifted lure from Mike again. Um, you know, mate, I can't thank you enough for 
you know, supporting in the way, the way you have uh, in the past year of me being uh, on YouTube and, and doing my thing. So, yeah, um, big big shout out. Big thanks to him for that. Um, this swim is awesome. I love the way this looks in the water. It's got that sort of trout-ish kind of profile about it as well. Um, obviously not a very natural colour, but, you know, this actually makes it a lot easier to see in, in any water conditions um, being such a bright colour. Um, really, really cool. Uh, sort of a pearlescent too. I'm not too sure if you can pick that up on the camera here. You might be able to pick it up in here somewhere. But yeah, really awesome. Has also an interchangeable chin weight system, so you can unscrew this smaller weight here, and you can opt to put a bigger bait in there if you want to... Um, you know, throw it in there, uh, you know, get it down deeper and stuff like that. So they've got a bit more, you know, a few options for you there uh, with regards to that. Now, last swim bait or glide bait, I should call it, uh, which is a two-part lure. Uh, that's this one here. This is the um, Chase Baits Prop Duster. Um, plenty of publicity around these things um, on Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, absolutely awesome looking lure. And uh, this, I, I love this cod colour, um, sort of that satin sort of finish, white belly all the way up until a no, dark green back. Um, beautiful detail in the eye there, um, the prop in there, it makes a noise. And uh, the retrieve on these are just amazing. So like when you pull them in, they'll sort of, do, they'll, they'll glide one way and then continue to retrieve, they'll glide back the other way this way. And they're just so cool when they, when they are being retrieved that way, like I, I almost, you know, couldn't care if I caught a fish. Well, not maybe not, but uh, <laughs> watching this is uh, mesmerising, I would say. It's very, very cool. So, yeah, looking forward to hooking up to a fish on this thing. I have no doubts this will catch me fish. So check out the Chase Baits uh, prop duster. Uh, moving right along into surface territory, we have the Jackal Pompadour, uh, which you may have seen on a previous video. I did a rod and reel um review uh which will be up in a card here somewhere for you guys if you want to check that out this thing has uh, caught me all of my surface cod so you know it does catch a lot of fish plenty of fish shows use them this one's actually got a crack in it now so i'm gonna have to replace this one soon but uh i definitely will would recommend a uh, jackal pompadour in any cod fish shows tool uh in tool arsenal lure arsenal whatever you want to call it uh tg razor this is the color awesome scale pattern here um good detail in the eye as well it's got like yeah, it's hard to see on this camera, but yeah, that's really cool. Upgraded hooks and rings as well, as I've said before. Really cool. Big brother, Jackal Pompadour, uh, Jackal Mega Pompadour, I should say. So it's exactly the same lure, just a hell of a lot bigger, a hell of a lot louder. The Jackal Pompadour, the standard one, the standard size one is loud enough as it is. This is just ridiculous. You can hear this, you know, you would hear this in a thunderstorm. It's that loud. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, yeah, look forward to getting this out on the, uh, my bigger setups now. They've got a couple of bigger rods that I can throw heavier baits with. Um, so, yeah, um, looking forward to seeing what I can get out of them. Last, uh, second last, sorry. I'm not quite ready for that yet. Uh, this one here is a tailor-made uh, cod walloper. This is the second ever surface lure I bought. So it's like an Australian-made lure, timber, I believe. And it is... Fairly awesome. It's it's a little bit quieter than the pompadours. It's a little bit quieter than the pompadours, but it is uh, really cool. Um, I'm fairly confident that this is going to catch me fish. Um, had buffs already on it, just haven't hooked up yet. Really cool. Makes some good plop 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 noises, of course, as you would with a paddler. Um, and this, you know, the two part jointed um, two piece lure. Really cool. Anyways, that's that lure. Very last one. I'm breezing through them, guys. Uh, Savage Gear three D snake. This is a 300 mil version. As I said, I've been trying to get some bigger bait um, into the arsenal a little bit. So you know, I've got a little bit more gear that I can throw these bigger baits. So I'm going to try and get a couple more of these sorts of things. Uh, this is a weight bait, so it's a little bit quieter in presentation. So good for those glassy conditions when it's quiet and, you know, if the, sp uh, the fish are a bit more spooky uh, or wary, then you might have a better chance of hooking up on something a little more subtle. So that's why I went with this one. Um, this is like your, your, the most natural looking one, I thought, um, out of them. This looks look like a black snake um, in general. I could probably paint the belly yellow or, sorry, uh, white or grey or something like that, something a bit lighter coloured, just to give it more, even more natural presentation look. Um, but, you know, sometimes a dark silhouette isn't bad either. So, yeah, that's that one. It swims absolutely perfectly. It looks just like a snake on the water. It's, it's crazy how cool it looks. 
um, again, upgraded hooks and rings again on this one. So, yeah. Um, if you like this sort of stuff, if you're enjoying uh, seeing, you know, this sort of content, let me know in the contents, uh, comments, I should say, down below. Also, uh, if you want more gear uh, reviews or gear stuff uh, related videos, I've got them up here in, uh, in the end screen here and also some Murray Cod related videos here also. Um, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to drop a like in this one and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll catch you in the next video, guys. Just keep flipping.